before we get started, I wanted to talk a little bit about why I use the variation Perfect Storm. Um, I've experimented with a bunch of other moves and stuff, and I kind of settled on Water Ball and Tidal Wave. At the time, I didn't realize that it was one of the stock variations for rain, but um, I called it stay hydrated, and then I found out that it was a stock uh, variation, but I, I'm going to keep using stay hydrated because why not? I think that him having these two moves together are probably the most, to me, the most solid variation of rain when you don't want to do any like fancy stuff like hydro boost is great hydro boost leaves you plus if you meter burn it but you can only get the plus if you have meter to do it and then if you don't get the hit then you just you're plus but you only get to use one meat like i don't know like to me it just it to me it's just not for i guess it's just not my style of play right um i'd rather use my meter more for damage than for pressure because if I can find other ways to pressure people or other ways to, you know, to get in and do stuff or keep people out and, and frustrate them without meter, then I can use my meter for damage. So the first move, the first move that I think is very important is Tidal Wave, right? Uh, tidal Wave is a really good move in neutral and has a lot of good uses. Uh, it hits really far in front of him. This version of it is the uh, enhanced version. The the regular version hits pretty far, but the enhanced version goes very far uh, in front of him. And it also hits behind him, and it hits a little bit up off of the ground. But it's a low attack, so they have to block it low. Um, that means that you can use strings like uh, one, three, four, which is a, a, a string that ends in an overhead. And then you can use one, three, down back three, which is tidal wave. And that's a low, a low ender. So you have two, two, two hits to start and you can either end it with an overhead that knocks down or a low, or you can enhance the, the tidal wave for a low knockdown. So you have two ways to knock people down, mix people up. Sometimes you can go in, do one three four and knock them down go back in do one three down back three enhance knock them down again and knock them back further toward the corner um it's it's really good uh for characters like cabal sub-zero um scorpion even I, i've beat some teleports with it uh but it's a it's a really good move and uh and i i don't know what i'd do without it at this point um, now, Water Ball, on the other hand, is a two-slot move that I don't want to give up, um, and you'll find out in the very last combo of the video. It's only a couple of combos. Um, I'm only showing the practical combos that I normally use in match, and um, that I think will be very helpful for people just trying to pick up the variation uh, quickly and just want to know some combos that they should be using uh, with the character or some stuff that's simple to learn, pretty much. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the combo videos, show you the combos that I'm talking about and, uh, give it a like, uh, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more, more content, uh, I'm going to be playing the combat league this season whenever it comes back. I don't know how long it's going to take to come back, but, uh, yeah, when season 16 starts for MK 11, um, I'm going to be playing combat league, uh, season seven, uh, season 16, I believe it is. And, uh, yeah, so uh, see you around. Peace. Thanks for the watch. Thanks for the like. And uh, here's the combo video.
thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video please do give it a like if you feel so inclined please do hit the subscribe button as it will give you a better chance at seeing my content when i post a new video i stream right here on this channel so if you see me live stop in and see what i'm up to my instagram and my twitter are here do with them what you what you please and uh until the next one peace